Hello and welcome to this tutorial session where I will show you the basics of the new car mod editor. This tutorial was made right after the release of the new editor so certain features of the editor will be up for change or improvement. Let's create a new custom car file and enter the editor. To move around you will have to hold down the right mouse button. WASD will move your camera horizontally. Scroll your mouse wheel to lower or raise your camera speed. The editor UI is sectioned into three categories. To the right is your object hierarchy window containing all objects of your car. At the bottom you can save and exit, reset the car to its original state and create new objects which we will cover at the end of the tutorial. To the left are the car's base settings for changing values of the car like car color, materials, or your custom 3D model source name. To select an object, click on the corresponding name in the hierarchy window. This will open the inspector window, which allows you to modify the object. On the top you can set if it's always available or only for certain enhancements. In this case we have a mesh object that includes a mesh loader component, which we will cover later. Let's change some of the transform values of the car. With the position component, you are able to move the object to your desired local position. Euler angle sets the local orientation of your object. and scale sets the local size. Let's rename the object so we can recognize it better. In the mesh component you are able to change the object that is to be loaded. Let's check for currently available objects which we could load. Gray is default and always available. Colored buttons are objects loaded externally from an OBJ file which you can modify. Let's create a custom model to load in. I just made a new file in Blender 2.79. I will quickly make a crude car and wheel model with two textures applied. In order for the object to properly import at runtime you will have to take into account two things. As of making this video you will need to position each object at zero for it to load in properly in game. This may not be necessary in future versions. Secondly the object has to be made of triangles to avoid artifacts, in Blender you can do this in edit mode when pressing Ctrl T. It will convert all quads into triangles. Make sure to keep backups of your model files. Let's export it as an OBJ file. Then drop the MTL and OBJ files into the source mesh folder of your custom mod file.
back in the car editor, after having dropped the files into the folder, enter the object's name into the top left input field. As you can see it does detect our two newly imported objects. I select the tutorial object, and just double checking, I enter in the name of the object to be loaded in. Voila, now it just needs some reorientation. Let's disable collision for this object. As you can see the mesh component contains two slots of the same material, yet the window looks different in color, why that is, I will explain in a bit. By clicking on the slot you can select a new material out of your repository. Let's create a new material by pressing the material editor button on the left side of the screen. and apply it to the car. As elaborated earlier the window material slot looks not as intended, that is because the original object had a material key applied to it. Keys add a specific functionality to your mesh, you could set the slot to be a car color slot, or headlights, and brake lights. Each key can only be applied for one slot per object. Let's remove all keys as it's only a window anyway. Let's create a new object. In here is a range of possible types of objects to be spawned. I want to make a custom wheel mesh and exchange it with one of our current wheels. Wheel colliders are handling the physics aspect of it. So I select 3D mesh and as we can see it spawned a new cube. Let's select the wheel and disable its default look. Now we have to parent our new mesh to the wheel object. In order to do this you will have to drag the new mesh object onto the wheel object. Now let's orient position and orientation to zero to make it centered to the wheel object. Let's check again the wheel object name and enter it into the cube's mesh component. Now it is advised that the mesh is oriented also to zero, so if the wheel mesh is rotated in a wrong direction you should edit mesh in Blender and re-import the object instead. This is what I am going to do now in order to fix the orientation. Alright now that this is done let's see our changes in action. Save and exit. 
activate the item. As you can see our beautiful custom car works. It looks very fancy. Now there are a few more aspects of the car editor which I may delve into in future entries. But this is it for now, and I'll see you, and your creations, on the Steam Workshop. <laughs>